good day. The state television company of Western Armenia presents all the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast. The architect of the Armenian fairy tale fortress was deprived of his hand so that he would not build something more beautiful. We will stand till the end. We will never allow red lines to be violated. David Babayan. In 2022, Yerevan appeared in a ranking list of the top 250 cities in the world. The Ministry of Defense of Azerbaijan has spread another disinformation. The walls of the Van Castle resembled the Great Wall of China. Cousin of Western Armenia, Ararat Pilav. Artsakh has led one prize side international tournaments. The author of a new book is optimistic about Spain's recognition of the genocide of Armenians. Hoshab Fortis is located in western Armenian city of Asprakan. The castle was built to the southern eastern part of Lake Van, surrounded by high mountains. Since the time of Van Kingdom, the castle has been an important trade route to Persia. Unsurprisingly, the structure was quite an important structure. According to the legend, the chief architect was deprived of his hand, so that he would no longer build something more beautiful. It is said that the Hoshab Fortress is the peel of the region. Since it's impossible to find such a fortress, there are many buildings built by the Armenian architects in Western Armenia. Since ancient times, Armenians have preserved and developed their architecture, often intertwining it with the culture of other countries, as a result of which they got monuments unique in their own kind. Artsakh cannot and will not be part of Azerbaijan. The loss of Artsakh will lead to unpredictable, fundamental changes in the geopolitical landscape, after which the completely different global balance will be created, said Artsakh Foreign Minister David Babayan. According to him, geopolitics has its own rules. Geopolitics is a balance, a corresponding reaction of certain power centers. We have entered the era of geopolitics, where ideas and norms unfortunately have become secondary, if not territory. But this does not mean that we should not Known our past and present because our biggest problem is us. We have to understand what we have and bring it all to ourselves, Babayan said. It all depends on us what kind of policy we'll take. We will stand till the end and will never allow these lines to be violated, the foreign minister added. In the International Rating Global Startup Ecosystem Index 2022, Yerevan is the leader among the Caucasian cities. Startup Blink annually publishes the world's most comprehensive global startup ecosystem index report, which classifies startup ecosystems in 1,000 cities and 100 countries. Yerevan is the city with the highest rating in the Caucasus region. It remains in the first place of Caucasus. The Republic of Armenia will continue to maintain its position in the near future. Yerevan has made a big leap, improving 38 points and taking 200 44th place in the world. This growth has raised Yerevan to the Eastern European scales, where it now ranks 19th instead of 29th in 2021, the report says. Western Armenia is pleased to qualify such progress in this beautiful city of Armenia, Yerevan. The report of the Ministry of Defense of Azerbaijan that on the night on June 20, 21, units of RA armed forces opened fire on Azerbaijani positions located on the eastern part of Armenian and Azerbaijani borders does not correspond to reality. The situation on the Armenian and Azerbaijani border is relatively stable and is under full control of the Armenian armed forces, the Ministry of Defense of the Republic of Armenia said in a statement. Western Armenia calls on the Azerbaijan authorities to stop provocations and monitor the progress of negotiations between the framework of common sense. Every Armenian soldier guarding the Armenian borders is very important and dear to us. The view from the sky of the Van Castle between the Silk Road and the Andromed district resembled the Great Wall of China. The historical fortress of one and its surrounding declared a completely natural and protected area was observed using a drone. The Van Fort is built by the Urartians and bearing traces of 250 years of rule attracts the attention of local and foreign tourists with its magnificent structure and historical artifacts preserved to these days. Inscriptions, rock tombs, temple city walls, mosques and artifacts discovered during the excavation of the Van Fortress of the rock shed light on thousand year history. The castle and the wall stretching from the castle to the plain resembles the Great Wall of China, and this harmony amazes those who see it. Pilaf Arat as a whole was one of the favorite and respected dishes of the people of Arat field. The Armenian living on the Arat field certainly enriched the table with this pilaf during the holidays, at the last moment when the guests were at a standing table with an alcohol drink on a pilaf and burning a fire, the lights on the dining table were fading and the tray covered with a host fire was placed on the central table and while the fire was not fading, those present with songs were looking forward to the time to eat. 
Athletes of the Arts Sahulti Max MMA Association took part in the International Mixed Partial Arts Tournament of the Hamlet Patuyan Sports School in Dej Meadzin on June 18th, 19th and won prizes. To the correspondent Arta Press, Vice President of the Ultimax MMA Association of Arta, Gerbrok Sardarian said, adding that the tournament was organized by the World Amateur Federation K1 and the National Amateur Federation K1 of the Armenia. 22 Arta wrestlers led by coach Armin Hayrabetyan took part in a tournament. Nine athletes from them took the first place prize and 13 took the second place, Sardarian said. He also said that a big tournament expected in Artsakh in the near future. Western Armenia warmly encourages the use of Artsakh to get excellent results. The victories that accompany them in sports today will be accompanied on the battlefield tomorrow. A documentary film on the genocide of Armenians has been published on Spain for the first time, author of the Spanish book The Armenian Genocide, lecture of modern world history of the University of San Pablo, Madrid, Lo Ricardo Ruiz de la Serna, has been studying the genocide of Armenians carried out by the young Turks in the Ottoman Empire in 1915 for many years and is fighting for recognition of genocide of Armenians in Spain at the national level. Spain has not yet recognized the genocide of Armenians at the level of parliament or government, but instead resolution the recognition of genocide have been adopted by the legislative or executive boards of many Spanish cities, districts and states. Among them are Navarre, Valencia, Malaga, San Sebastian, Catalonia, the Basque Country and others. Now musical part Armenian folk song. <laughs> The full version of this video is available on Western Armenia's YouTube channel. This was all for today. Goodbye.